straight up, the Maharashtra state budget 2017-18 was presented in the state assembly on Saturday by the state's finance minister, Sudhir Mungantiwar. The Maharashtra government budget checks all the boxes, but the focus, of course, was on farm distress. And the finance minister was very clear. The government is committed to a loan waiver scheme, but farmers should repay loans on time. In fact, Mungantiwar clearly said that the government will come out with a scheme to reward farmers who repay loans. Now, the government stand was roundly criticised by the opposition, which had earlier disrupted assembly proceedings over the farm loan waiver issue. Mainly, government, uh, the budget should have come up with some alternative scheme for the farmers, where farmers' uh, suicides are maximum in their regime. Almost uh, more than 9,000 farmers have uh, committed suicide. So we were expecting that they will mention something and uh, they will give some support to this uh, farming community in Maharashtra. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. Uh, first of all, tell me this. Uh, the uh, opposition's biggest uh, problem uh, with the government, of course, was that uh, there was no farm loan waiver. Uh, now, of course, the government has said that they will bring some sort of consensus. What is your reaction? To some sort of consensus when? After five years? In last one year, nearly 5,000 and above farmers have committed suicide in various areas of Maharashtra. Now, the common man's expectation, the common farmer's expectation was a relief. No hopes. All eyes were focused on only single point. Are they going to weigh off the loan? And the answer is a big no. But the government has also said that, you know, repay your loans and then we will support you. What is uh, uh, the opposition's why, view on why this? Did you, why did you first raise their hopes by giving a promise during the elections? Yes, yes, we are going to waive off your loan. Why didn't you say then, when the elections were on, that no, we will not relieve, relieve you. We will see that you pay your loans. Once we come to power, we will see that the loans are repaid. Nobody is talking about Malia. Nobody is talking of those people who stay in this Nariman point on the 40th floor and wave off the loan of 10,000 crores, 50,000 crores, lakhs of crores, Lomi, Romin, Lamborghinis, uh, Range Rovers. Nobody talks of them. For one farmer, you talk such and such, a, such many big things. The common expectation from the common man of Maharashtra was farmer loan waiver. They have failed in that miserably and they will have to answer it to the common man of Maharashtra. One quick question, what about the middle class population? A lot of uh, announcements were made for infrastructure, uh, you know, security, etc. Do you think the allocations are so about basically, right? Basically, for last three years, every budget is only a budget of hope. The BJP Sena combines third budget also focused on building infrastructure and industry in villages and in cities. Also, allocations were made to improve policing in cities. Amita Balachandra, who was at the assembly, gets us a fine print. Well, the Maharashtra government has presented its budget for the year 2017-18 and uh, if you look at it, uh, overall the government has focused on all of the key areas, whether it is infrastructure, whether it's agriculture, water resources, uh, 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 agriculture, very uh, 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 significant uh, portion of money going into the agriculture sector there. Uh, in fact, uh, the government very clearly mentioning uh, and saying that uh, they will be looking at uh, farm loan waivers, uh, except that uh, uh, the finance minister, uh, you know, categorically stated um, farmers to continue repaying their loan, that they will be coming up with a scheme going forward with the uh, Sena and BJP duo, uh, who will be coming up with a scheme going forward. But, uh, you know, farmers must continue to repay uh, their loans. Having said that, a large chunk of money was also allocated for uh, roads uh, or for uh, transportation systems, infrastructure, especially 7,000 crore rupees there uh, to maintain roads. Uh, uh, contractors, of course, will be maintaining these roads. A considerable amount of money for backward, uh, uh, backward uh, areas as well. Uh, about 1,000 crore rupees set aside for Marathwada and Vidarbha there, uh, uh, farm irrigation, rural infrastructure, all of these things were mentioned. However, the key point that uh, we would also like to mention is the fact that uh, the uh, biggest criticism the government had got earlier was that 4,600 crore rupees was going to be uh, allocated uh, for memorials. However, the budget saw just about 200 crore rupees uh, for these two memorials in particular and uh, the uh, 
very controversial Shivaji uh, statue, of course, did not find any mention uh, in this budget. Uh, what is the plan that uh, the government is trying to draw up here? See, basically, the government is trying to make uh, each individual, each citizen secured. So, uh, putting CCTV cameras, of course, has uh, made it very sure for public to be secured. And uh, ca catching hold of criminals and catching hold of wrong incidents, it becomes easier with this. Most of the time, the spending is much lesser than the amount that's been allocated. So, this time around, are you planning on changing that or on, uh, you know, course, spending? Uh, basically, uh, this particular uh, thing you are asking about is not a concern with my department, but now the whole budgetary uh, provisions are made according to the uh, demand. So the spending will be enough, and it will not be you know there won't be any budget left. Maharashtra's budget should also bring some cheer to the middle class. In the run-up to the GST, the state has waived all taxes on cereals, pulses spices and dry fruits. Tax has also been exempted on sugarcane bought by sugar companies, which means that essential commodities could get cheaper and your household budget a little easier on the pocket. However, alcohol will get expensive as taxes have been increased on Indian and foreign liquor. Meanwhile, listen in to some political reactions coming in on the Maha Budget 2017. There's nothing revolutionary about it. And uh, I don't know what they have given to middle class, but the key focus of the budget today was whether there will be a farm debt waiver. And in fact, it will have a farm economy. Farm economy will revive again. Uh, the purchasing power from farm economy will increase. The manufacturing sector will get some help. So not only farm sector, but even manufacturing sector, the service sector looking forward to some concrete announcement, just like you give uh, special package for industry. You give loan waiver to industry. Uh, you know that just nine large industrialists have defaulted uh, to the tune of eight and a half lakh crore rupees. Okay. Now, easily you give loan waivers to the industry and big industries, not to farmer. Okay. This is not acceptable. If you don't get anything, huh, at least you've got a gaja. Huh? So there's absolutely nothing in this uh, budget. Huh? In fact, uh, it's the Congress and the NCP who are saying that uh, they have got a gajar in this. I would rather say that Khoda Pahar Nikla Chuha. There's absolutely nothing in this budget for anyone. After hearing the speech of uh, the finance minister, if you ask me one question, that who is going to benefit from this budget, there's nobody. In many ways, the Maharashtra budget looks like one that checks all the boxes. Going in, of course, the biggest issue was farmer distress. And the government has made an attempt, though there is no clarity on how they are exactly going to address that. It also addresses urban infrastructure, job generation, industrial development. An attempt also there to make policing and general administration better. The government has also done its bit to reduce the burden on the middle class. However, the devil will lie in implementation and this government does have a poor track record on that front. Take the last budget itself where only 47% of the money that was allocated was actually spent. <laughs> 